Hank, heal. Good. That a boy. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Good dog. Place. All right. So here we are. All the way, place. That a boy. Here we are back again at Animal Training Development Center. Today we have Hank. Hank is here for day 10 of his 10 day um, daycare training package. So you'll still have the one private lesson left and you'll still have some uh, drop-in class dates uh, available to you, I believe. So um, all good stuff. We did take a field trip to Lowe's today and Hank did a really wonderful job of staying on a loose leash and, and healing through the store. He um, sat whenever I asked him to and um, he did spook a couple of times. There was a guy uh, just you know, kind of charged out of this back uh, area there on um, big bright um, uh, iridescent type of vest and and just a quick motion and it spooked Hank I think you'll be able to see that on there a little bit uh, but once he figured out what was going on he recovered you know pretty quickly and and got back to work uh, we had another occasion where there was a loud noise you know things uh, in there are pretty uh, big and, and loud and he spooked uh, a little bit at some noise um, but recovered quickly again and, and that's what I always look for it's like if you do get spooked you know can you recover pretty quickly and get back to work or are you going to have to go take a nap uh, sort of thing so he recovers really fast and he did really well uh, with that he did super with the, the big automatic opening doors uh, both going in and out of the uh, the Lowe's Center uh, did a super job with all that. So uh, really pr pretty pleased with him. He's come an awful long way in these 10 sessions. When we first started with Hank, he was very guarded and very um, hard to even get close to. He was very shy of us, uh, myself and my other trainer. It took a, a while for him to uh, warm up and trust us enough to where we could really um, talk him into letting us get to him to even put a leash on him that first day. So we've gotten uh, from that point to the point where I consider him one of my better uh, buddies around the training center. Uh, just have really thoroughly enjoyed him and of course I'm a, a big fan of German Shepherds anyway. Uh, so it was an easy easy way uh, to, to get to like Hank. And so um, his obedience is, is really doing well. And I know you guys are practicing hard and you're attending the drop-in classes and uh, those are going well for you. I would encourage you to you know, continue to do that sort of thing. And then of course, working those techniques that we talked about at your home, where we're working on the place command and, and having safe areas for him to go when you have workers coming and going off and on your property sort of thing. So um, you can see here, he's, he's comfortable holding that place um, in a standing position for the moment, but he knows that he can lay down if he chooses to or sit on it. He can do whatever he likes and you can tell he's pretty relaxed about the whole idea of being up there. Um, you know, there's not a lot to show you as far as the obedience that you don't already know. He's uh, been working on heel, uh, doing some commands while in motion. And I don't remember if you guys were here for that Saturday when I was uh, sharing, you know, how we do this and why we do it. But, you know, once in a while you need a dog to do something even as you're in the heel position, like sit, sit, there you go, just like that. Good boy. So the commands while in motion are just something I've added uh, for free. Uh, he's done so well with all his other obedience that he'll, we're, we're starting to, to show him these commands while in motion. And I really like these. Uh, we used to have to do them competition when I did Schutz and Sport. And so I learned how to do those uh, in those days. Um, for the sport, but I can never really think of a practical reason why I would need my dog to, you know, do something like this if I were in the heel position like I am now. Sit. But what I've decided, had a boy. Good job, Hank. What I've decided is that it's, it's a great exercise if only for the fact that it teaches the dog that sometimes what I ask you to do is going to conflict with what you think you should be doing. So when you give the dog the, the heel command and they're following us in that position, you know, to tell him to, to sit while I keep moving is, is really got to be a bit of a brain teaser for a dog because they don't get the point as to why they should stop healing and, and sit. You're, we're supposed to sit, of course, when we stop at the heel, right here, Hank, sit. 
<laughs> a boy. Good job. And so we, we get to that point where we want him to be able to do the command even as we continue moving sometimes. And so it's the sit while emotion and then also, you know, the down while emotion. Hank, down. Good boy. And Hank seems to be a little bit in slow motion this afternoon. So I think he's just a little tired. We worked him pretty hard today, getting him all tuned up for his uh, final uh, field trip. And we just got back from there about a half hour ago. And now we're just wrapping up with this little bit of a segment, uh, kind of showing you some of these last things that, that we've added. But uh, again, super dog. I think he's perfect for what you guys are looking for on your property. And if you follow along, like we described, uh, the techniques that we showed you and you, you work your fence line um, with those flags and make sure that he's you know, nice and you know, confident about his boundaries and, and that sort of thing. I think you guys are gonna have a wonderful life together. And uh, if anything comes up that you need any help or just wanna ask me some advice, remember you can always reach out to me at, uh, at our email or you can reach out to me through my phone or you can reach out to me through text or whatever you guys like to do. We'd love to you know, keep in touch and know that you guys are doing well. So as always, we just like to you know, thank you for your trust in us. And um, we just always like to wish you happy training. Break. Good boy. You ready to go for a field trip? Break. Good boy. Good sit, Hank. You good boy. You good boy, Hank. Yo. Cool. Surprised you a little bit. Good job, though. Heel. You didn't freak out. Good boy. 
Ooh, another big sound, wasn't it? I feel. Huh? <laughs>